What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at a new Summer Stars card and it is going to be Cristiano Ronaldo to review today a card that is 99 overall and even though it's only like a plus one when it comes down to comparing it to a team of the season or the team of the year card, we are looking at some stats that have been boosted by a decent amount. If we are comparing him to the team of the season card, he has got plus eight aggression, plus four strength. I believe it's plus two agility, plus three dribbling. I believe it's like plus five balance as well. And you also have got some nice shooting stats actually being boosted as well. Obviously the attacking positioning, finishing shot power and long shots clearly can't get boosted, but the volleys I believe went up by like a plus five. And I believe the penalties went up by like a plus four as well. So I feel like I'm going to know the difference, I must admit, between the two, especially when it comes down to the physical end and especially when it comes down to the dribbling as well. I'm expecting to him to, you know, feel better on the ball than like the team of the year card that I've been using for a decent amount of times. But well, let's talk about why there was no reviews yesterday, because I know a lot of people are wondering why, you know, I didn't review any card yesterday at all, knowing that it was a promo as well. Well, I did post on a community post what actually happened yesterday. So, you know, I, I kind of told you guys, but in a way, I know a lot of people don't go ahead and look at community posts. So, obviously, we have to say it in a video. The reason there was no player reviews yesterday was simply because I was at, I was at the Fnatic headquarters coaching Fnatic Techs for the World Cup playoffs. Now, obviously, it didn't go as planned because if it did, then I'll still be there the next day, okay, today, and we would still be playing. But, hey, we move on. It is what it is. It happened. We got unlucky. You know, it, it's FIFA 21 at the end of the day. Anything could possibly happen. So, yeah, that is why there was no player reviews yesterday. But let's get into the CR7 one. With the pace, there was no upgrade at all to the pace, which is kind of disappointing. Saying that it's 94 acceleration, you was expecting like a, I don't know, like a plus two maybe. Saying that other stats got upgraded, but like a plus eight, let's say. So, yeah, I don't know why there was no like pace increase, but we move on. With the engine chem style, it's 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. So, it's not going to matter either way. Shooting ability, as I said, there was upgrades to the volleys and penalties, but everything else there you know it's simply insane you're literally looking at 499 stats in shooting this guy he needs to finish pretty much everything now the passing ability he, he did have an increase to the passing ability especially the long passing but with the engine chem stole it even goes up by more so the passing ability i am expecting to be top tier if i get this guy on the ball and i go for like an lby all the way to the other side i'm expecting it to get there now he's dribbling ability this is one place i'm feeling that he's gonna you know Kind of, let's say, feel better. Like, I feel this guy right here, when it came down to the team of the year card, obviously he felt amazing, but I feel like this card right here, there's going to be certain angles I can dribble with now, which I really couldn't do with, like, the team of the year, let's say, because this guy had 90 balance on the team of the year card. Now he's got 95 balance. So I'm expecting this guy to have no falling over animation at all. And moving on to the physicals, the guy's got 99 jumping and 99 heading accuracy. We all know CR7. We all know how high he can jump, and we all know how deadly he gets when he gets to that ball he can actually be on the header so yeah i'm expecting to score like a near post header today or even just like a simple cross he has also got 99 stamina 94 strength with the 80 aggression as well aggression still not being the greatest but the fact that they upgraded by a plus eight compared to the team of the season card you know it's simply insane and that's another area i feel like he's gonna really really shine it now the fact that the team of the year card he barely got bodied for me to be fair to him but there were certain occasions like when a tap sober or even like a zagadu came over those playing have those players having like really high strength they would obviously body cr7 out of the way now it could be a little bit of an issue for those players now when it comes down to the links portuguese syria juventus the links are simply amazing but when you have icons like Vieira and dalglish it doesn't matter about like the portuguese nationality and all of those it just simply matters about icons just to get them on full chemistry and that's exactly what i've done now when it comes down to the positions i'm going to be playing this guy in one position and one position only the 442 in that striker position listen we all know this guy down the line, he's going to play amazing there. So there's no real need to actually test him there. You might as well play him in that striker position, especially with the amount of coins I paid for him. 12.4. Listen, I bought him yesterday thinking he was probably going to be extinct or maybe stay at that price at least. He's dropped a lot of coins. Let's not talk about it. Let's get into the review. Six minutes in and we have a free kick. 20 yards out, he's put someone on the line. But I must admit, it doesn't look like the tallest of players, to be fair. So, could our first goal with Summer Stars CR7 be a free kick? Yellow timed. Oh, my. I think he accidentally unselected the player on the line. 
and just pretty much gave me like a wide open shot. So yeah, our first goal with Summerstar CR7 is actually going to be a free kick. He hasn't actually moved out the keeper. Hold up a second. This could be a wide open opportunity. And CR7 doing what CR7 does best. And he is going to score the header. And he is going to make this guy actually go ahead and rage quit. Oh, that's a good pass. Give it to CR7. Scoop turn. See if I can maybe get around this player. Oh, he's actually committed at a terrible time. We send two of these players and we actually go ahead and score the goal. I think my opponent thought I was actually going to shoot towards the near post there. Obviously, did the lack of care to cancel and got that finesse shot. Run, Ronaldo. Go maybe go for a cheeky one too. See if I can get him in behind. Hill the hill round the keeper. Is he going to score? Oh, I had, I had a few doubts for a second because he didn't really fully commit his keeper, which I thought he was going to do. But hey. When you're CR7 and especially the Summer Stars card, you can score from pretty much any angle. See if I can go forward here. There you go. CR7 instantly giving me that passing option. And that's something I love about play playing CR7 in like a striker position. The movement this guy has is simply unreal. But look at the dribbling. Nah, Klosterman. Festival or football Klosterman card just coming in clutch there. Keep going, Desai. Keep running. Shield off the play. There you go. That's beautiful. CR7 with a scoop turn. Reverse between the two players. We shoot. I would say at a hard angle, but it's not like extremely, extremely hard, especially when you're shooting with someone that's got 99 finishing. Cut it into the inside. There you go, Vieira. I like how CR7 didn't make an irrelevant run. He ends up doing a scoot turn towards the near post. And you can tell by that shot power that that keeper is never, ever going to save it. That's a nice run. Good scoot turn as well. One, two, maybe. Keep it going. Can you actually get there? Wow, I'm actually really surprised he got there. See if I can maybe beat Alfonso Davis here. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. There you go. That's beautiful. Anyone on the pass? No, there was no one on that sweat opportunity. I literally had to go all by myself there. Come on, team. What are you doing? Scoop turn here, maybe. Or even fake shot, to be fair. I kind of want to go for a finesse shot. Should we see if we can maybe create ourselves an angle? He's really trying to press us right here. Look at the shielding, by the way. Look at the strength to actually hold on to this ball. Keep going. It's jammy. Let's not get that twisted. It is very, very jammy the way we got through right at the end there. But the way this guy was trying to press me and maybe trying to push me off the ball, CR7 wasn't having it. He was shielding off everyone. He was trying to use his strength to hold off players and we eventually get the goal. R1 dribbling. Pass it. Oh, it was meant for Dembele. But I'll tell you what, Ronaldo's in a good position. He's turned his player inside out and he's missed. He has missed. And that is when you have to think to yourself, if he had a five-star weak foot, does he actually go ahead and score it? And I'm going to be honest, I feel like he does. Play the through ball. Well played. Double ball roll round him maybe to get the angle for the finesse shot. And we actually ended up missing. I'll tell you what. It was a good opportunity, I must admit. But the angle was very, very tough to score at. So do I blame him for missing that opportunity? No. But he goes ahead and scores either way when it comes down to the next opportunity. And that is something you want to see. Fake shot that hour. There you go. Cut into the inside. Give it to Dembele. Ronaldo's going to notice where the wide open space is. Boys, I'm not going to lie to you. I clicked pass, but it, it, it just it just didn't pass. I, I don't know what to say. It literally just didn't really pass. But you know what? Let's see if we can create an opportunity either way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. This card is an absolute joke. The way he gets round players is insane and the way he shoots as well with an extreme amount of power yeah some occasions he is going to end up hitting post but in this game especially in you know FIFA 21 you're never going to get a player that finishes every single opportunity i'm going to attempt to make a run so i can go for one of these wonder through balls play it that's perfect literally perfect timing i tried to heal the hill let's still sh oh my i must admit i wasn't expecting it to go like a cross goal. I was kind of expecting it to slot near post, but I guess I will take it. The reason I didn't want it a cross goal, by the way, is because I thought the guy was actually going to block it. But the fact that he's got it on target from that kind of angle is really impressive. See if I can fake shot this because I see an LBY opportunity all the way to the other side. And with Ronaldo getting his long pass boost to this card and also the engine boost, you know, you're kind of expecting those passes to 100% work. See if we can maybe create an opportunity here. That's well played. Oh, Ruben Diaz with a good tackle, to be fair to him. So it is time to review, and we ended up playing four games with CR7. We ended up scoring ourselves 10 goals. 10 goals in four games is absolutely insane. But when, we go, when you're playing with a 99 rated CR7, it's also expected. Now, when it comes down to the question, I feel like a lot of people want answered. 
is he so much better than the team of the SS team of the season to the point where I have to sell that player and go ahead and buy this card right here? For me personally, 100%. Listen, if you've got one of those cards tradable and you also have the additional coins, go ahead. Go ahead and buy this card. You won't regret it because the dribbling and the physical physicality sorry, on this card for me personally is so much better than the team of the year version. 100% it is. But if you are sitting there with the team of the season or team of the year untradeable and you're thinking of going ahead and get this card right here, that's when I feel like it doesn't make it worth it because I know what's going to happen. You're going to go ahead and get this card, put him into the team, and then that one of the team of the season or team of the year, depending on which one you have, is going to be pretty much like rutting in your club. He's going to be absolutely, he's going to be doing absolutely nothing. So yeah, that's when it doesn't really make it worth it. But if you've got one of those cards tradable and you also have the additional coins, go ahead. You won't regret it. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace wise, 10 out of 10, 100%. He is an absolutely insane, insane player when it comes down to the pace. Listen, there's not many players that can catch up to this guy unless the centre-back has 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. That's the only time you're going to struggle. Other than that, he's going to outpace pretty much every, everyone else. Now, the shooting ability, also a 10 out of 10. It makes sense. Let's all be fair. Passing ability, not going to give him a 10 out of 10 because I don't feel like his passing ability is up to the level of like a Bruno Fernandes kind of card. So for the passing, I would still give him a good rating because it was still very good. And I would say a 9.6 out of 10. Dribbling ability, come on. Come on, 10 out of 10. 100 percent is going to be a 10 out of 10. And for the physicals as well, I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10, but it's going to be close. I would say a 9.6 out of 10. Saying that this guy's obviously got that 99 jumping, that 99 stamina, the strength being absolutely insane, and the aggression even getting boosted by a decent amount, but still not being, you know, top, top tier. I feel like a 9.6 is spot on for the physicals. But an overall rating out of 10, you already know what it's going to be. It's going to be a 10 out of 10 for the 99 rated Summer Stars CR7. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.